Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to Forex trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers the initial setup of the Desktop Pro platform for trading Forex. The following video will go through the customization and preferences for the Desktop Pro platform for trading Forex. Once you have built out all the windows on your Desktop Pro platform, you now can start customizing them and setting up various preferences. For example, on our FX board, to set up the preferences, we're going to right click. We're going to click on preferences down here at the bottom. And this brings up our preferences for the Forex board. We have the option to change the color of various displays, including the symbol, background, bid, ask, label, and other informational windows. You also can change your font size. For example, if I wanted to make my font bigger, I simply click on a number, I click on OK, and I click on Finish. And as you can see, our text grew. If we want to change it back, we can go back to our preferences, click on a number, select OK, and click on Finish. We also can set up other preferences here on the FX board. The number down here at the bottom and the line is what's called our pip spread meter. This number shows you the current pip spread between the bid and the ask of a certain currency. For example, on the Euro USD, we can see that the pip spread right now is 1.1. The line designates a parameter that you set up in your preferences to give you a visual indicator of the pip spread. If we right click and we select preferences, Right here you can see under our spread meter, we can choose to turn this on or off, and then we can designate different colors based on the number of pips. So for example, I've given dark blue to show me any time the pip spread goes half a pip or less. Yellow to show me any time the pip spread is one pip to half a pip, and so on and so forth. Anytime we make a change, we're going to click on Finish. Your FX board can also be customized by moving around different symbols and adding and removing them. For example, if I wanted to move my pound yen next to my Euro USD, I simply left click on it, I drag it over, and I drop it. If I want to add and remove a symbol on my FX board, I right click on it, and I choose Add Symbol, or I can choose to remove the symbol. I also can create and save custom FX boards by clicking on New FX Board, Open FX Board, and renaming it. Your Positions window also has customization features. Right up at the top, you can see we have a column that gives you information about your current active open trade. For example, we have our symbol, lots, cost basis, open profit and loss, and other features. If I were to right click on this, I can choose add remove columns and drag and drop over different informational windows. For example, if I wanted to see the current PL per pips of an open position, I simply left click on it, I drag it over, and I drop it in. If I wanted to see my pip value per lot, Again, I left click on this, I drag it over and drop it into my positions window. If I want to remove one of my columns, I left click on it, I drag it over, and I drop it into my columns. If we right click on our positions window and choose preferences, again we get a couple of different options. We can change the colors for a variety of different areas. Just like on our Forex board, we can change our font size. We can view open and close position, open only. 
and we have options for our grid view. Anytime we make a change, we simply click on finish. Our open orders window works the same way. We right click, select add remove columns, and you can drag and drop in any informational columns you want. You can also right click, choose preferences, and you have the option here to change the colors or the font size. All of the windows with the MBT Desktop Pro have a preferences feature. If we right click and we choose preferences, right up at the top you can see we can access all of the different preferences for each of the windows. For example, if I wanted to set up my preferences for a watch list, I would click on watch list and right here we have the options. If I wanted to set up preferences for my market depth, I would choose market depth and again we have all the preferences available for market depth. Under the general preferences you have the ability to change different colors of buttons as well as your time display and account aliases. In our next section we will go over specific order entry for the Desktop Pro for Trading Forex.